In our last video, we covered basics of the sort by function. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out. In this video, we'll see six advanced examples of using this powerful function. First, we'll sort data by the length of text in a column. Next, we'll sort birthdates by month and day only. After that, we'll explore sorting by a custom list. Fourth example will show you how to sort data and concatenate the output. We'll then look at sorting data by the frequency of occurrence. And finally, we'll cover how to sort data using a drop-down list. Without further ado, let's begin our video. Watch till the end to learn many new tricks, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's see our first example, sort countries' names by their text length. We have a list of countries along with their populations and currency codes. Our goal is to sort these countries by the length of their names. For example, Fiji has four letters in its name, so it will appear at the top of the list. Next, Cuba also with four letters will follow. Then, Japan and India each with five letters will come after Cuba and Fiji. In this cell, write is equal to sort by. Open parentheses, select this entire data. Now comma, right, len. Open parentheses, select the country's name data range, close parentheses. Again close parentheses and press enter. Now, we have our list of countries sorted by their text length. In this cell, I'll calculate the text length just to verify the sorting. As you can see, these two countries have four letters in their names, and these have five letters. So, the list is correctly sorted by text length. However, we also want to sort the list alphabetically within the same text length groups. To do this, we'll add another argument to our sort by function. Select the list of country names as the first argument, then type 1, to sort in ascending order. And press enter. If you want to sort by population, select population column. Let's move on to our next example. In this example, I have a list of employees along with their birth dates. I want to sort this list first by the month of their birth date and then by the day within each month. This way, we can easily track and wish them on their birthdays. If I simply use the standard sorting feature, it will sort by year and then by month, which isn't what we need. To sort by dates, write is equal to sort by. Open parentheses, select the entire data, comma. Now, write month, open parentheses, select birth dates. Close parentheses, comma, one for ascending order. Now again, write date, open parentheses, again select birth dates, close parentheses, comma, one. Close parentheses and press enter. Now, we have our list sorted first by the month and then by the day of the month, making it easy to track and wish our employees on their birthdays. Moving to our next example. In this example, we have a guest list for our party, including each guest's name and their RSVP status, which is yes, no, maybe or yet to confirm. We want to sort the guest names based on their RSVP status. That is based on custom list. So that guests who responded yes appear at the top of the list, followed by those who said maybe, then yet to confirm and finally those who responded no. In this cell, write is equal to sort by. Open parentheses, select data range. Next, we need to match the RSVP status with our custom list. So, we'll write match. To see what the match function returns, let's test it out first. Write is equal to match. Open parentheses. For lookup value, select this status range, and for lookup array, select our custom list, comma zero for exact match. Close parentheses and press enter. This gives us the position of each status in our custom list. Yes is number 1, no, number 4, maybe number 2. Now, we'll use this formula within our sort by function. Sort by, open parenthesis, select data, write match function here, and press enter. 
and our list is in the order which we wanted. If we don't want to list our custom order separately, we can also write the lookup values manually within the match function like this. And we will get the same result, with the list sorted exactly as we specified. Let's move on to our next example. In this example, we have a list of students and their marks. We want to sort the students based on their marks. That sounds easy, right? But here's the twist. We want to display both their names and marks together in a single cell. To do so, write is equal to sort by. Now open parentheses, select the list of student names. Next, we'll concatenate the names with their marks. To do that, type and then in double quotes, add a space, dash, and another space. After that, select the marks data. Next, type a comma because we want to sort the list by their marks. Select the marks column and specify that you want the sorting in descending order, so the highest score appears at the top, followed by the others. Finally, close the parentheses and press enter. You'll now see the students' names and their marks displayed together in a single cell, sorted by their marks. Moving to our next example. Here, we have a list of sales transactions that includes the product name, sales amount, and payment method. We want to sort this data by the payment method, so that the method used most frequently appears first, followed by the others. In this cell, write is equal to sort by open parenthesis, select the data range. Now comma, write count if open parenthesis. Select the entire payment method range, comma, again select the entire payment method range. Close parenthesis, comma, minus one. Because we want most used payment method on top. Close parenthesis, press enter. And there you have it. Our list of sales transactions is now sorted by the payment method used. Transactions made through credit cards appear first with 11 occurrences, followed by online payments with 10 occurrences, and cash payments with 9 occurrences. Moving to our last example. In this example, let's sort data dynamically using a drop-down list. First, select the data range. Then, go to the Formulas tab and click on Create from Selection. Make sure the top row option is checked, then click OK. Now, our columns have been named. However, you'll notice that the employee name column is named with an underscore, like employee underscore name, because spaces aren't allowed in names. So, we'll replace the space in our column heading with an underscore to match. Next, select the cell where you want the drop-down list. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation. Choose List and select the range containing your column headings to create the drop-down list. Click OK and our drop-down list of headings is ready. Now, on this cell, Write is equal to Sort by Select this data, Comma, Write, Indirect open parenthesis, and select our drop-down list cell, comma, 1, close parenthesis, and press Enter. Now, when you select an option from the drop-down list, the data will be sorted accordingly. To make this dynamic, select the data range and press Ctrl plus T to convert the data into a table. This way, if you add any new data, it will automatically be included and sorted as per the drop-down selection. And that wraps up our tutorial on sorting data dynamically using drop-down lists in Excel. I hope you found this video useful and can apply it to your own data management tasks. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.